our first uh, speaker tonight said that his people have been around for 100,000 years that we know about. That's certainly true. That we, there is a difference of opinion about how long our species in general has been on the planet. It's a, it's a flash of a second in evolutionary time. Um, Richard Dawkins thinks it might be as long as 250,000 years. Look, you make it a quarter of a million. Francis Collins, the man who did the DNA decoding, the Human Genome Project, who is, by the way, another Christian scientist, or rather, a scientist who is a Christian. Um, I won't make that mistake again. Um, <laughs> you know what Mark Twain said about the work of Mary Baker Eddy, the Christian science writer, founder of it, her books? Chloroform in print. He said. <laughs> Um, this is a digression. It's a digression. Francis Collins says at least 100,000 years. We can show we've been around for that long. It's quite a long time. I'll take, I'll take 100. Never mind. I don't need a quarter of a million for my point. Make it 100,000. 100,000 years, people have been, our species have been around on, on this speck. Born, usually dying, actually, a great number of them in childbirth wouldn't have got beyond being born. For the first 80 or so, 90 or so thousand years, nearly 100, not living more than 25 to 30 years at the most, then probably dying of their teeth if they were lucky, or of the other needless mammalian things that show us that we bear the stamp, as Darwin put it, of our lowly origin, the appendix we don't need anymore, innumerable other shortcomings of our design. We're designed to live on the savanna that we've escaped from. Um, uh, terrible d disease, suffering, misery, malnutrition, and fear. Where do the earthquakes come from? Why is there an eclipse? What are the shooting stars doing? And awful cults of sacrifice to try and ward off what are in fact natural events, and war, and rape, and the kidnap of other peoples, and the enslavement of them. All of this goes on, gradually, gradually inching up to the point where you can brew beer, a breakthrough in my view, um, <laughs> domesticate animals, separate one kind of corn from another, so very millimetrical progress, but r terrible struggle, sacrifice, pain, misery, and above all, fear and ignorance. And you have to believe this if you believe in monotheism. For the first 97, 98,000 of this, heaven watches with indifference. Oh, there they go again. <laughs> They've all, this, that whole civilization has just died out. Well, what are you going to do? They're raping each other again. They've, they've, they're poisoning. The, they think that the other tribe has poisoned the well, so they're going to kill all their children. All this, just watch all that. 3,000 years ago at the most, it's decided, no, we've got to intervene now. <laughs> you have to believe it. You have to believe it. And the revelation is, must, be, must be personal, must appear. So we'll pick the most backward the most barbaric, the most illiterate, the most superstitious, and the most savage people we can find in the most stony area <laughs> of, the, of the world. We won't appear to the Chinese, who can already read. <laughs> we won't appear in the Indus Valley, where they know a thing or two, and they're already, you know, they're very far of us. No. We'll, we'll appear to this brutal, enslaved, hopeless, superstitious crowd and will force them to cut their way through every all of their neighbors with slaughter, genocide and racism and settle on the only part of the Middle East where there's no oil. <laughs> <clears throat> and all subsequent revelations occur in the same district. <laughs> and without this we wouldn't know right from wrong. <laughs>